everyone, it's Catherine from Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you a brief overview of the Harbon mod and how to download and install it on your server. Harbond is a mod that enables player-to-player -player teleportation in an immersive way. It is an alternative to using the slash TPA command on servers. Craft an Enderhard by surrounding a nether star with four ender pearls and a crafting table. Ender hearts are equipable items and can be linked to one another. By combining two ender hearts with soul sand or soul soil, you create an ender soul which links the two hearts together. Using this technique, a single ender heart can be linked to as many other ender hearts as you want and as many times as you want. By right clicking an ender soul and wearing one of the ender hearts used to create it, you are able to teleport to the player wearing the other ender heart that was used to create the soul. This teleportation does not work across dimensions. First, you're going to need to go to the mod's website. You can find the link in the description below. Go to the versions section from the menu at the top. Make sure the mod is compatible with the version your server is on. Go to the mod version you want, then click the green download button to the left. This will instantly download the mod. We recommend dragging the file to your desktop so it's easier to find. Head on over to the control panel of your VPS server. Then go to Create Service. Make sure the service selected is Minecraft Java Edition, then under Type, make sure to select Fabric. Make sure the Minecraft version is compatible with the mod. Then click Install on the bottom to create your server. Next, head over to your file section and open the mods folder. Now you want to drag and drop the file into this folder. Then you can restart your server and wait till it's online to see if the mod has installed correctly. After doing so, head over to the console tab to make sure your mod is installed. You can see it's installed when it says done near the bottom. Make sure there aren't any errors relating to the mod. If you're having any trouble figuring out how to install Forge, we will have a video tutorial linked in the description below. Make sure you always use the latest version of Forge as the more outdated the Forge version is, the lower the chance of compatibility. This way you can avoid any issues with installing mods. When adding mods to your mods folder, make sure that all the mods are in the same version. For example, if your client or server is on version 1.20.1, you need to make sure all the mods in your mods folder are in 1.20.1 as well. They also have to be the same actual mod version, not just game version, and the mod configs should be the same as well. If you have more than one mod installed, they may conflict with each other or have dependency problems. This can cause your game or server to crash with an error code zero. You can try disabling all the mods you installed and then re-enabling them one by one until you find the mod responsible for the exit code zero error. Some mods rely on other mods to work. These are called dependency or library mods. Make sure to check if any other mods are required for your mod to work properly. This is usually mentioned on the mod page. Some mods do not belong on a server as they are client-only mods. This means that if you install them on the server, they could crash the server. Please read the mod pages for more information on this. When using Fabric Mods, always make sure you download Fabric API and add it to your mods folder, as all Fabric Mods depend on that to work. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below, and if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more from our channel. If you have any further questions or problems, don't hesitate to contact us. We will leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching!